hi you do best today i'm gonna show you how you can change your brake pad or clean your brake pad of your yamaha r5 the tools that you are gonna require is pretty much simple i don't know you can see this but it's written in that thing uh, 5 millimeter allen hex key a flathead screwdriver and a sandpaper this is pretty simple to do and very easy so that everyone can do it all you have to take the tool place it over here here and turn it anti-clockwise sometimes it may be too hard you have to exert some pressure to it so that you can turn the bolt you can you have to turn all the way around that it comes totally out as you can see it's coming out as soon as you turn it out the first brake pad comes out as this is the one you have to generally take it from there this is the first piece and please do remember the sides or else it would be hard to re uh, put it back and the second one also comes nice and easily after pulling this pin out here you go second one as you can see it's very rusty and we have to wipe down these are first so that it's more flatter <coughs> now you can see I am wiping down uh, the brake pad uh, you can use any uh, almost any grade of sandpaper mostly I would recommend about uh, 100 200 or so that that would be fine to do the job I am making it flat as you can see my hands are not free I am only using one hand but I insist you to use both your hands because I am using one more of my hand to hold the camera it's almost almost flat now You wipe it with any waste cloth or so and please do not <coughs> that the cloth is not contaminated with any grease or oil because that would affect your breaking the cloth has to be perfectly dry or else that would affect your breaking that's it wiping complete you can see this this is the brake caliper piston you have to push it backwards all the way back into the caliper back into the caliper so that you can put your brake pads much more easily <coughs> in this condition I have already placed it pushed it back so that I can do it easily I'm gonna place the outer one first as you can see there is a small notch here this one you have to place it perfectly onto the brake caliper or else you won't have any brake to apply you won't get any brake gently place it over there and push till it's aligned with the hole of the caliper like this and you can put the pin back first one is in now the inner side
same procedure applies here gently push it onto the place and make sure the slots are aligned and push the gate pin inside as you can see I have pushed it to maximum limit and I need my Allen hex key to turn it back on turn all the way around till the pin has gone totally inside you can feel the resistance when the pin has reached its innermost position yes it's in there the brake caliper is fully set now just turn the wheel that so that you can make sure that the brake pad is set properly it's set properly the next thing you need to do is put your foot packs pump the foot lever because the uh, the brake fluid must go back into the caliper so that you can get proper braking and before going to any big rides take a thorough check up on your brake and do some test runs your safety first thank you everyone please like and subscribe my channel if the video was helpful thank you